in this video we'll be looking into the topic of uh, specifications of tokens so in order to understand the specifications of tokens we should be familiar with the terms such as strings language the regular language alphabets and regular expression so the tokens could be specified by using all these so uh, we can broadly say that regular expression is used to specify a token so this regular expression comprises of regular language so this regular language is made up of set of strings so strings are derived from alphabets so in order to understand the tokens we need uh, to understand all these topics so firstly let's look from alphabets so alphabets are uh, finite non empty set of symbols so alphabets uh, it could be defined using sigma is equal to alphabets could be either binary or lower case letters or it could be uh, ascii characters so example i can say sigma is equal to 0,1 this is a binary alphabets if sigma is equal to a b c these are lower case letters if sigma is equal to slash star plus all these are ascii characters right so they are they comes under ascii characters then we have after alphabets we have strings so strings when you combine set of alphabets we obtain strings so here uh, the strings are denoted by w so w is equal to it could be 0 or 1 if if sigma is 0 or 1 if the alphabets uh, could be 0 or 1 then w we can define it as 0 1 1 or it could be 1 0 or it could be anything comprise it should comprise only of zeros and ones uh next we have uh, empty string under string we need to understand what empty string is so a string with zero occurrence of symbols zero occurrence of symbols that, that means there are no symbols at all so it could be uh, depicted with epsilon so then we can also find the length of string by using mod so considering this we can write w is equal to 0 1 1 so the length of w here is 0 1 2 1 2 3 so there are three characters here right three symbols being used here so that's what uh, depicts the length of string so there's a number of positions for a symbol in the string so it's three here next we have we are done with uh, alphabets we are done with strings then we have uh, let's look into the power of alphabet here so alphabet is represented using sigma we know that if sigma is equal sigma power is 0 then it says that it is it comprises of nothing it's empty epsilon if sigma is equal to 1 then it comprises of at least any one of the strings it could be either 0 or 1 if sigma is 2 then it should comprise of 2 0 0 or 0 1 or 1 1 or 1 0 and so on so here we have uh, two topics that is one is positive closure and we have clean closure so in positive closure we depict sigma plus so it it says that it it should start from sigma 
union sigma 2 union sigma 3 and so on in case of clean closure it's depicted uh, by sigma 0 and sigma 1 union sigma 2 in case of clean closure it starts from sigma 0 union sigma 1 union sigma 2 union sigma 3 and so on so this can also be written as sigma 0 union sigma plus and this can also be written as sigma star minus epsilon because epsilon epsilon is not being considered here right so that's what it is and then um, now we are done with alphabet strings we'll look into language so language is a set of strings obtained from alphabet denoted by a uh, sigma for example language comprising of uh, one or more a's it could be l is equal to a a a a and so on so we are done with uh, understanding the definition of language we'll look into uh, we'll look into the definition of regular expression now so a regular expression uh, is recursively defined as so regular expression could be equal to epsilon uh, that is could be ex uh, equal to phi that is denoting uh, empty language or it could be equal to epsilon that is de denoting that we have empty string here just the string is empty not the language or it could be equal to uh, denoting any language here regular expression could be equal to denoting any language or if we have uh, r plus s so this could also be a regular expression when there is union operation happening or if we have r star s that is concatenation happening it could be a regular expression or if we have r star r dot s that is the closure here it could also be it, it can also be considered as regular expressions so now i'll write few examples of regular expressions so if i write a star regular expression is equal to a star so this would say that uh, the string can comprise of any number of a's so it, it can also start from the empty string here because we have star here right a star so if it's equal to a plus then we can say that the string can comprise of any number of a's but it should not be should not be empty string okay and if we have a plus b as the regular expression so it states that the string could start with either a or either 1a or 1b and so on so i have explained uh, the regular expressions topic separately i've made a different video for it so once we understand uh, all these topics once we understand all these terms it would be easy to specify the tokens because uh, we use regular expressions to to specify the tokens so i hope you have understood this theoretical topic of specifying a specification of tokens using all these terms if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you